Hey, let's talk animated gradients in After Effects. These look great as backgrounds in so many projects, and they're just fun to look at. Let's get started. First, select your star tool from the toolbar and make a bunch of white stars. Repeat this step, but this time make the stars black. While you make the stars, make sure you don't let any of them go outside the bounds of your composition. Next, right click and make a null object. Select your stars and pick whip them to it. Hit P for position on the null object and set a keyframe at the beginning of your timeline. Then make a keyframe at the end of your timeline and decrease the X value by a couple thousand. Right click again and make an adjustment layer above the null object. With it selected, go to Effects, Stylize, CC Repetile. Extend right and left by 4000, then highlight everything we've made so far, pre-compose it, and label it. Make a solid background now. I'm going for a really dark purple. You can play around with it, but dark colors are really going to be your friends for this look. Now to actually make the gradient, you're going to need three simple effects. For the first one, go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint, so we can get the color right. I'm going with purple and cyan, so it kind of looks like those old cup designs from the 90s. You know the ones I'm talking about. Next, go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Directional Blur. Set the direction to 30 degrees and the blur length to 700. Lastly, go to Effect, Distort, and Twirl. Set the angle and twirl radius to about 60, and you're done. Now this is just what I did, but this gradient is super versatile, so if you're following along, feel free to make your own changes, and if you do, let us know. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.